This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice and nuances in this tutorial. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension free. And a missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. So this etude again is for a really position change for how quickly you can move your elbow just like we um, studied right now in number 11 and um, that's why it's crucial at least to make a wrist and elbow movements pattern when you start learning this etude otherwise i don't even know how you would play it so you would probably move your whole arm in the very next last moment, feeling tension, being afraid to miss the note, and yeah, and always keep your hands be uh, stretched so you would accumulate some tension in your hands. So no, <laughs> relax hand, um, no tension at all really, and just move your wrist according to the note and elbow on the circle note.
Sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud only notes. While playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. Internally sing with the energy of weight. This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight. Such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. Now let's go um, with intonation. maybe every interval of musical speech but the words your fifth finger in this lip uh, always this descending fifth so use this opportunity and feel it in musical speech ability to feel a difference in singing different intervals will let us pre-feel through intonation the distance of every interval much more accurately that helps mind and hands to faster prepare to the intervals as I have said before many times, if we can't feel fast while playing, we're not ready to play fast. Feel the difference in sound while singing with intonation in these intervals.
Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. Next one by motifs. I'm gonna stop after every bar, because this is one motif, and uh, leaving everything, my energy and my internal singing to the last interval, which is the same as this. Time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music, it's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece, and if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful, not just faster, but lively and exciting, not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. Mm, what else? Okay, time. Uh, let me think. Allegretto molto agitato. You know what? Since it's written molto agitato and allegro, I will give it a try pulsating by every quaver. So basically, this is our bar. Let's start with slow, very sad and heavy. Meaning that 
it's not somehow you play slower. <laughs> I really suggest you to really feel how you slow down in your pulsation. So back to a tempo. Mm, let's go faster, more agitato. about this this slur what does that mean what does he want with this slur is this indication of obligato or phrasing or whatever but um, i have a feeling that i mean you can't play something in f minor with staccato so let's go with non legato so non legato is when we uh, speed up oh, not that fast as staccato but a little bit less oh, oh. So it goes like this. It's like a heavy staccato in a way. And then there is an accent, which I think he meant. So we're gonna make it. Articulations are the variant of intonation, where the principle of singing internally in between notes with a glissando resistance remains the same. In every type of articulations, the first part of the interval is sung with resistance, but the second part is varied. In staccato, extremely accelerate the speed. <laughs> In tenuta, move fully down with weight. Ah, 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 ah. 
In accents, mix staccato and tenuta. Bring speed and weight at the same time. Um, let's play by phrasing. So, motifs first. In these two notes with the slur, I'm coming to the first note. So, as I explained in the video called How to Make Slurs and Fill Slurs. Short, short slurs. Imagine that there is a note before the this note. Let's say you play, or in this case, E, e natural probably would be more uh, correct. So you would go. And now feel the same, but without singing this E. Without singing this G, so this is what you uh, you are left with. So, so let's go. Um, I'm gonna make second slur more important. Thank you. 